Hi guys, uh, welcome to another drink review. So today we're gonna continue with the tapping tapir. So just in case you guys are wondering, I have reviewed the first one. It's the one from this rainbow box. So this is the box again. I've drank one already, so I'm just gonna open it up, show you guys which one I, I drank. So the one I drank was the vanilla and Apple and vanilla one. So the apple and vanilla one has already been drunk. This one, sorry. This one has already been drunk. So see, empty. So just cut open the entire tap and just cap the can. Yeah. But today we're gonna review the next one. So we're gonna review the next one, which is this. And this is apparently we're gonna find out together. So it is guava and lemon grass. So okay. So let's put the box aside again. So we have here is guava and lemongrass. So I'm a big fan of guava drinks, but not really a big fan of lemongrass. So we'll find out together if it's good. Again, the price is RM6. So the whole set is 48, I think, from the second, seven of them. So it's RM6. So again, let's go ahead and start with the second drink. Again, uh, like I said, this is natural sodas. So it's made out of natural fruits, it's crushed fruits with, um, Stevia, so there's no, there's no none of the processed sugar, so they use stevia, which is a natural leaf sweetener, and they have fresh juice, so this is a natural soda. First time, I mean the second time technically, me trying natural soda, so it's about it. Sparkling with juice, naturally sweetened with stevia leaf. So yeah, great. Again, cool, cool looking can. Look at that. Again, this is the tapir. So we're gonna have to have a taste of this. So apparently, this it has a tagline here. Uh, refreshingly wild as nature intended. Sounds cool. This has to be good though, but it's six bucks, yeah. So for something six bucks, it has to be quite good. So price is RM6 and we'll stay away go to the test. Again, this is a sparkling juice, so I assume there'll be gas. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Alright. So apparently there's also a tagline here that says there's nothing artificial. So it's all natural stuff. So natural sodas, right? Okay, let's have a guess of the color. So I guess it's gonna be guava color, which is green, like this thing, right? Just take, uh, yeah, if you guys can, just take a few seconds and just wait. And then just type in the comments below what you guys think the color is. And unpause the video. All right, okay, so we're back. Now I think it's going to be green, but very light green, right? So let's see if we're right. I, I hope nobody guessed red or something. Maybe you could be right, who knows. So taste test. And it's, oh, it's almost the same color as the apple one last time. So it is this very light green. It looks like apple juice. Ooh, strong guava smell. Right, you can see the sparkliness. I can see, I can smell strong guava and a little bit of lemongrass. So let's have a go at it and see if it's worth it, yeah? So wait, first test test, first, first is taste test. Again, um, it's very sweet. So I, I can feel the sweetness from the guava. Not so much lemongrass again. Um, the sparkliness is just all right. It's not as gassy as Coke. So that's something to take consider. If you prefer more gassy drinks, natural sodas are, I guess, not really the gassiest thing you can have. It does taste good. I'm just a bit curious on how much the sugar is in content. So the sugar is in per 100 ml is 4.9. So that's actually very little. Uh, Coca-Cola has it about 12. So there's about 12 grams of sugar per 100 ml. So this one has about uh, 4.9 which is 5. Yeah. So this is about 40% of what Coke has which is great. So again, guava and lemongrass. Last test, taste test whether we can see and taste, sorry, the smell and taste the lemongrass. Yeah, no. Um, I think again, the guava is about 70%. I, I think the guava is about 80%. And the lemongrass is about 10 And 10% is just the carbonated sparklingness. Overall, it is a good drink. Um, whether you, you taste guava and lemongrass, I think to be honest, most of it's the second part, right? Feels like a filler. 
You know what a filler is? A filler is just what for you to fill out whatever has left, right? So this one also feels the same thing, like the apple and vanilla one. The vanilla one's very little. The apple one's really really strong. So it feels again that this company makes the second part of the sentence a filler. You never know, right? We, we might we, we might find the different thing in the rest of the bottles. Oh sorry, the rest of the cans. So just stay tuned and find out. So let's go to is it worth it? Alright, is it worth it? So I'm just gonna take another drink, another sip. Okay, another sip, small sip. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, is it worth it? I would say for this one, no. Because I've tasted different guava juices as well. And they do test, taste much better. And some even on par. I understand you're paying for the non-artificialness and the naturalness of the soda, but it is six ringgit. Six ringgit is a very steep for for a can of um, soda in, in Malaysia generally. Uh, Coca Cola is only two two ringgit, and Coca Cola is an international brand quality thing, right? I understand Coca Cola is just essentially sugar made out of more sugar in a carbonated sugar can, right? It doesn't have any fruits or anything. But this is RM six. I understand may maybe the paper will cost you like a a ringgit 25 cents to paper i don't know but six ringgit feels really really steep so yeah for me this guava isn't worth it so all right guys let's see for the next tapping topic i'm trying to alternate the videos with like food and drinks food and drinks, food and drinks but i'm trying to give you guys as many videos as possible so good luck on that so again thank you for watching and please like and subscribe i'm almost to a thousand i'm only 800 something now but i feel like we could reach a thousand in like Two three months, you can put me wrong. Just invite all your friends and I'll just subscribe and I'll put up more great content. So that's it, guys. Cheers.